will the U.S. or China win the electric vehicle battle? Imagine you're shopping for a new car and you're considering going electric. You've heard they're better for the environment and you want to do your part. But then you hear about a battle brewing between the U.S. and China over electric vehicle subsidies. And what does this mean for you and how will it affect the market? Let's dive in and find out. The issue at hand. Uh, China has taken issue with the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, which offers substantial tax incentives for individuals who purchase electric cars. Sounds great, right? Well, here's the catch. Uh, the incentives are only available for cars made primarily in North America, with battery components from the same region. This gives American businesses an unfair advantage in the rapidly growing EV market. Uh, China, being the global leader in EV production, isn't happy about this. Uh, they've taken their concerns to the World Trade Organization, claiming that the IRA's incentives violate international trade. Remarkable rules. The U.S., on the other hand, argues that the incentives are necessary to promote the transition to renewable energy. A history of tension. Uh, this isn't the first time the U.S. and China have clashed over trade issues. Uh, there's been a long-standing rivalry between the two nations, with both sides accusing each other of unfair practices. The electric vehicle sector is just the latest frontier in this ongoing battle. Uh, the U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai has defended the IRA, stating that it's essential for promoting clean energy. However, she's also criticized China for using unconventional trade methods that favor their own manufacturers, it seems like neither side is willing to back down. What does this mean for you? Uh, so, what does all of this mean for you, uh, the consumer? Not much, for now. Uh, but if you're planning to buy an electric vehicle, uh, keep an eye on this situation. If China's stance prevails, it could lead to more options and lower prices for consumers. On the other hand, if the U.S. maintains its position, it will benefit a domestic EV production and likely boost the industry's growth within the country. The outcome is uncertain and protracted trade disputes like this one can take months or even years to resolve. The WTO's appellate body cannot hear appeals due to the U.S. blocking judge appointments since 2019, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. In conclusion, while the battle between the U.S. and China over electric vehicle subsidies may seem distant, it has the potential to say not significantly impact the EV market. Keep an eye on development and remember, when it comes to buying an electric vehicle, always shop around and compare prices to get the best deal. And with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.